Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Chopin's Prelude Opus 28 number 15 also known as Raindrop. The first thing that you should know is the D flat major scale and it's like this. Also you should know the first chord of the scale which is D flat major right there. The first note is D flat. Now Chopin is going to use the inversion of this chord to come up with this melody so he's going to do the first inversion and then second inversion and that's why we have this split in a descending matter so we have the F notice the chord there and then we get to C which is going to change the chord okay so think on this then B flat and get into C now we have dotted long note we could ring that a little bit more softer here and then A flat we release there and start growing up okay it's important that you take a look at the longer notes give it more sound like let's say like F natural is more sound less and then a little bit more to the A flat because it has to last two beats okay if we count this we could have one two three four one two three okay now if we use this chord on the right hand we could also do the same on the left hand and add these notes so when you punch here we can punch two times this and then we'll switch to an A flat 7 which I will explain in a minute so when we do it together beginners could do this together here and together here okay and we took care of the first line now it's important now that we start adding more notes to it like the original so we have this chord now and we'll add the bass and for the first measure it's going to be a combination of this so he'll do this fifth finger going up punch the chord here D flat and F do the three A flats again the same and then we'll switch here to A flat seven okay once you put it together you have this you have left this one quick to A flat and then together together here and that's it we get there there is an important thing about the A flat and you have to think that the piece is in four beats so if you count like this one and two and three and four and this will make it move later on when you play the whole piece rather than thinking like this one two three four so notice that I emphasize a little bit more and the one the two the three and the four even though I know the first beat is strong and the third beat is strong you could start emphasizing a little bit like this one and two and three and four and and when you play it you'll see that feeling throughout when I play at the same time okay so 
it's not all even, but you could do a little bit uneven, almost like a heartbeat. When you have a heartbeat, you your heartbeat will do da 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 da. It will not do da 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 da. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you and you apply it and test it out. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. So you can play it like this. Okay, now once we go to the C here, notice that it's going to be a change of chords. So what we'll use is the A flat 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your A flat 7. He takes the same chord downstairs and he gets rid of the C and put it on the right hand as a melody so that's why you can play this with this and then the D flat is gonna go back to the D flat chord now if we add the notes that we have on the left hand we have this okay so left hand by itself the B flat has a slur emphasize then we go back to D flat there. Okay? All together, let's do this. So, March here. March. March. Um, pum, pum, okay? And we got those two measures down. Okay, if you want to count, you could do one, two, three, four, one, two. get here and we're getting to the top of the melody here so we're gonna have the E flat dotted and then descending it's important that you release there so we went up now we're gonna decrease long note here ring it and that way you have more room to release also okay so for this Notice that these two notes are part of the chord A flat 7, 5th chord. So we're going to use that for it. So what we'll do is bring the C and G flat here on the left hand. And we'll do this. Notice here something very important. You have the melody on top and then those two notes. An important thing is to play it, but then notice that we have 16 notes. So this is quicker and it's not like this. So it's tom party. Okay. Let's do it together. So we have E flat and the chord below. This note and then together this two. And then we continue to the A flat. B flat here. And here we get to F minor. So I'll do it again. Notice the pause. We rush a little bit. And we release. Okay. Let's play those three measures so. Now here we change colors, we get to F and we finish up the line. So we have just F, long note, short and release. Now for the F we use C and A flat which is part of this chord F minor third chord of the scale and we'll do this pattern so we'll do this A flat G flat E flat and A flat and then we go back to the beginning and then here we're gonna have a little pattern okay let's do the left hand by itself okay and you could ring the notes on upstairs da, da, da. so we could do with a little melody on top got it there okay and then here we go back to A flat 7 and what we're doing on the left hand is just two notes and A flat but the right hand will have this pattern E flat two times ornament here and then ascending so And then it starts over. So we have the melody line here and we have E flat, E flat. And I like to put this fingering. So one, two, 
three, four. So I have three, two, three, two, one. And then from here, I just drop to start over. If you do it together, you have seven against two. And I like to match the first one. After the D, I put that note and then move on from there. Whole measure now, very slowly. Releasing. And it starts over. Okay? I think it's important that I play the entire line by itself, the left hand, and then together. So let's say if we start from the beginning, we have this. Increase the volume a little bit. More. Bought it. Release. And then we go back. Notice that on the fourth beat on that, because we're going back to the first theme again, I take my time to get there. I don't have to do it exactly in rhythm. And also the fourth beat, if you count one, two, three, four, and when you get to the one, it takes a little bit extra to get there. So that will be more musical if you do that than if you do it right on in tempo. Now left hand by itself now, it's important that you remember what we discussed about the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. All right, let's do it together now. a little difference there it's all the same but the left hand instead of doing the chord when you get to B flat here instead of doing that she's gonna play A flat so notice just that so left hand for this section now and then repeat this next measure so I'm gonna do it together but remember that difference so just A flat A flat here all of this is the same here. Now in my edition here I have a different volume. Instead of going quick, doing that quickly, I have a little bit slow down there because I don't have this thing note. Now I have eighth note. So same, same. Here he's adding a C here. That was the present there. Okay? So once you get to F here as a C and then here it's gonna change so it's all the same so it's important I play this so you can see so right hand same thing to daughter two three so that's the whole line there left hand only A flat is the same. Now here, he adds a C and he changed this chord here. He stays on D flat and that's all there is. So together now. Sometimes you could run a little bit. another line there okay so it's important that sometimes you run a little bit and you keep in mind that one and two and three and four okay there are little tunes there that you could play like here on the upper part of the left hand okay so next part now we got to D flat all the, the whole chord progression for this is the same. Now we're going to have this melody. Okay? 
okay so we start the line there it's gonna continue but it's important this because we're gonna change keys next so we're gonna do and then F now what chord do we use here if you use this interval you know A flat major it will solve that so we could go A flat major on the left hand and play this and then a flat minor dropping the C and then we have here okay what he'll do with those chords and then he has this D flat 7 so we have A flat major A flat minor D flat 7 so what he'll do with those chords is open so when you have an A flat he put the bass note A flat A flat punch this that's all A flat still and then he's gonna do A flat minor split like this and then an arpeggio D flat 7 to D and that's it I'll do it again 1 2 3 4 and 1 now it's important here when you do the arpeggio that you take a little time because we're gonna change now to G flat major uh, soon if you want to do it simplified, you can just punch this and punch the D flat 7 chord and we'll do this. Okay, that gives you an, an idea of the melody and also the background. And when you do it together with the note, the way it goes, we'll do this. Together here, together here. We switch. switch here. Notice that this I could bring out the D flat and the F or either note of those and and then we switch there to another key. Okay? I think what I'll do now is play all these lines together so increase the volume Long note, decrease, little ornament, back. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and Buy Me A Coffee.